What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and one of my subscribers sent me over a screenshot of something that Billy Joe recently said on a live stream on YouTube. And I find what she said kind of interesting. Okay, um, I think the timing is off. I don't think it's the time for her to be saying things like she was saying in this live stream. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. But first, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. If you want to be notified of all the real updates in this case, drop a thumbs up down below and also drop a comment and let me know how you feel about this case. Now, as far as these screenshots go, apparently over the past few days, Billy Joe has been appearing in random people's live streams. I don't think she's really been appearing on video, but she's been in the chat. In fact, the Crypt Keeper even made her a moderator. So she's been in the chat throwing out accusations at Danny, the boyfriend. Mainly, she's been going hard at Quentin Simon's babysitter. They even got Quentin Simon's babysitter banned from doing Facebook Lives. I mean, I mean, I've watched every single one of her live streams. She doesn't cuss. She's respectful. She's like one of the sweetest ladies I've ever seen. A, a really nice lady. I know people are questioning, well, maybe she's saying too much or talking too much. Listen, I don't fault the babysitter in one bit. She's wrapped up in this situation for no reason. And she seems to be one of the only people that really cared about Quentin. Well, earlier tonight, well, by the time you're watching this video, it will be last night, Billy Joe was in a chat on YouTube. And apparently in the midst of this search for her grandchild, while investigators are digging through trash, digging through old Lego boxes, going through Chick-fil-A wrappers, bags of dog poop, whatever you could think of in the middle of a freaking landfill. Vultures all around. Who knows if they're picking at trash or something that could be evidence. While all of that ha is happening, and I know it's a tough place to put yourself, but just envision that in your mind right now. That Quentin Simon is possibly, most likely, out in a landfill. Visualize that for a moment. And answer one question as you visualize that in your mind. Would you be joking in YouTube live streams if your grandchild was believed to be dead, crushed, in pieces, strewn about a landfill. I don't mean to be too graphic and to be too blunt. And I try to even steer away from talking about that aspect, but to really grasp the situation, you have to put yourself there. Because Billy Joe is there right now. She's in that position. The position that I hope none of you will ever be in. And I hope I will never be in. And while she's in that position, she's joking on live streams. Talking about how she had to work hard for that booty. Saying that she likes boobs. Pretty odd behavior. And listen, I'm a guy that likes humor. I don't know how long you all have been watching my channel. But I like cracking jokes. I like adding humor in my videos. My Quentin Simon videos have probably been some of the, mo the most serious videos I've done. I was definitely cracking way more jokes during other cases. But even me, and I have a dark sense of humor. I'm the type of person to crack jokes at a funeral to try to lighten the mood. Humor is a way for me to deal with my problems. You know what I mean? Like, I've always leaned on humor. But I can't 
even me, I can't really understand what's going through Billy Joe's mind to be on YouTube live streams making jokes about boobs and butts. Really immature. While Quentin is missing and they believe him to be no longer with us. Mind you, we have to also keep in mind that Billy Joe isn't out in the neighborhood spreading flyers and posters where it's Quentin. She's put in little effort. Yet here she is, joking around in YouTube live streams about tits. I, I just find it really odd. But you know, sometimes certain things that you do in life, certain things that you take, sometimes it disassociates you from reality. And I'm sure at times she is disassociated from reality. And a lot of the stuff that she types in these streams, I've seen other screenshots as well. It's like she can't even spell either. It's hard to understand what she's really saying. There's other screenshots that, I'm, I, that I may have shown you, but I don't even think you all would be even able to understand what she's trying to say. But all in all, I just wanted to point this out. To point out the type of... To point out where her mind is at in this situation. You know what I mean? Like I feel like there's other priorities that should be more important than you cracking jokes on YouTube when you have this type of a situation going on. And to take it one step further, cracking these jokes and doing stuff like this, in my opinion, and I'm not an expert here, this is just my opinion, y'all. As someone who's dealt with I've never dealt with anything like this. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, I, we've all dealt with losses, right? We've all lost someone close to us or in our family. I, in my opinion, believe that when you're to that stage where you're on YouTube lives and you're cracking jokes and stuff like that, that's usually after the realization sets in that someone is gone. I've never dealt with someone in my family or someone close to me being missing. But I would think that 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 hope of someone still being alive or possibly still being out there, that would stop you from getting into the mode where it's time to crack jokes. You know what I mean? Like, if I lose someone close to me and they died a couple of weeks ago, right? And I'm cracking a joke. Maybe that's my way of trying to be normal again. Trying to still go about my life because life goes on. But if someone close to me vanishes and I think there's a possibility that they're alive somewhere or there's something I can do to find out what happened to them, I wouldn't have reached that period emotionally or mentally, to be joking around, I would be all business. That's what I'm trying to say here. Like, this isn't the time for... If Billy Joe really believes that Quentin can still be here, then this isn't the time for joking and moving on. This is the time to be strictly business. Where the hell is Quentin? Let's find Quentin. Yet, in my opinion, she's showing the traits of someone who has accepted that Quentin is gone and he's never coming back. And she's trying to pick up whatever pieces are left of her life. And I can't fault her for that. But if this is someone who believes that Quentin is still out there, then that's very odd behavior, at least in my opinion. Very odd things to be doing to be joking like this especially when there hasn't been as much of an effort on your part as there could have been to help try to find Quentin. And I understand that FBI doesn't let them search. I understand that she can't necessarily be out in the trash dump searching for Quentin, but she could be out here spreading her voice. She could be out here putting posters up, doing what she can to try to track him down. 
if she really believed in her mind that he was still out there. But that's just my opinion. Let me know your opinion down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.